and welcome to the JLS Spring Band Concert. Thank you for coming out here. It's uh, going to be beautiful weather right when we end. Right now it's a little toasty. Thank you for bearing with us with this nice angled light. You're gonna see some very skilled students reading music with sun in their eyes. That's just kind of the reality of this concert. Um, we're really excited to share with you the end of a year's worth of growth. So, like I say in all of our concerts, you're going to hear a different version of these students behind me as they've progressed and matured musically. Um, we're going to rotate between groups. If you didn't already scan the QR code in the back, we're going to start with eighth grade and then we're going to bounce from sixth to seventh to eighth for the rest of the concert and then end with a big finale piece where sixth, seventh, and eighth will all play together. So our first piece tonight was one of our pieces that eighth grade played at CMEA in front of judges as our, you know, our own personal challenge to try to do our best and represent our skills. Here is Frank Tichelli's Joy Revisited.
All right, so between these pieces, it's nice and easy to switch for all these wind players sitting in front, but we have 28 percussionists that will sort of shift around really, really quickly. Um, so our sixth graders have a, a huge challenge tonight of watching me with sun in their eyes, but also you have not heard all the sixth graders together. This is all 140 of our sixth grade band members tonight. Playing all together. With one rehearsal today during fourth period, and they haven't quite played a lot outside, but I'm still really excited. This first piece is really two parts. You'll kind of hear the same theme coming back. It's declaration, so a very stately theme, and dance when there's a lot of movement to our melodies. Here's our sixth grade band.
All right, we started with the piece that our eighth grade played for CMEA, and now we're gonna play our seventh graders piece from CMEA that you have not yet heard. So this one is called Byzantine Dances.
Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Mark Dungan. For those of you that I haven't met, uh, my other day job is to teach uh, the bands over at Fletcher Middle School. And then last year, I was able to teach here 20% in the sixth grade classes. And then uh, this year, I was still 20%, but now with eighth grade, so they're moving me around a little bit, but it's exciting each year. And it's been really, uh, really fun to work with these students all year. That's just super great. I love the middle school band, so I'm happy to do more of it. It's fantastic. Uh, you're going to see a lot of different tributes tonight. We got some dedications on different songs, and that's super fun. Uh, the first one's going to happen now, and it's not in your program. And Miss Billen doesn't know about it uh, because <laughs> maybe three weeks ago, four weeks ago, some students approached me and said, "Hey, we really want to do a tribute piece to Miss Billen on the concert, uh, but we don't want her to know." So that's what we're going to do right now. They've been, they've been quite clever about it. Uh, first of all, they picked the piece. I didn't have anything to do with it, so they brought me the music. Then they also arranged for her to be absent for a little while during a class period. I believe they had, uh, I believe they had our JLS news team interview her for like 20, 25 minutes, um, which was really just a chance for us to rehearse and get a few details in place. So. Uh, this is a piece recorded by Philip Phillips. Uh, you'll probably recognize it. It's called Home. Here we go. Please slow down, Jacob. Please don't drop anything or hurt anything. Just get to your place. It'll be okay. All right. 
Uh, our next piece is called Affirmation, uh, written by Randall Standridge. Randall Standridge lots of, writes a lot of joyous and exuberant, ex exuberant. I was trying to say exuberant and exciting, and it, you know, uh, but very exciting and uplifting, energetic music. And uh, he wrote this one, as he said, because he was a sort of an outcast kind of kid in high school and you know in theater and feeling like he was kind of left out of a lot of things. And so he wrote this piece. He said for all the kids that are in that place. And it's not uh, sappy or anything, it's just happy and joyous and feeling like everybody is absolutely okay exactly the way they are. So here we go with affirmation.
Hi, how you doing? Yeah, this is good, good, yeah, so why, hey, look at that.